Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, today I hopefully have a, a cool video. I've got, uh, what, 18 grams of thermite in here. Um, and then I've got uh, a pile of packed uh, aluminum and chromium oxide for uh, making the synthetic ruby. Um, I just wanted to do this experiment um, because I thought, you know, it's just one way of getting enough heat to melt um, the oxides into corundum uh, for synthetic ruby, synthetic sapphire. Uh, I don't expect any spectacular results from this. Um, I performed a small experiment last night on this um, and I think I had too thin of a layer of aluminum oxide and chromium oxide and it pretty much just I think got vaporized. I mean it, it so now what I've done is I've created like a, a deep cone of uh, aluminum foil in which I was able to pour the um, oxide feed material uh, into the cone and so it rests on there and it's all packed in um, I'm obviously uh, using well I know it's obvious that I'm using more thermite than yesterday uh, I just figured uh, I might be able to take advantage of some of the extra heat hopefully it doesn't burn all the way through the sand and through there if if it does then well, this grill's not in great shape anyhow so anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick magnesium strips. I've got four of them, which is probably overkill, and that's fine. And uh, actually, because I'm not lighting it at the end, I can fold these in half. Sorry about the camera work there. I know you probably threw up if you watched that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna stick the magnesium in there. And uh, now I've got uh, some potassium permanganate and uh, forget whose video I saw where they were doing this method. Um, I'll look it back up and I'll give them credit for it. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna pour in a decent amount of potassium permanganate. Again, that's probably overkill, which is cool because uh, I'm in one of those moods today. All right, and now we're gonna take glycerin and add that to the potassium permanganate. Once that is done, I'm going to put a lid over that and possibly even close the grill because uh, my neighbors, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how much they're gonna appreciate this, but. Uh, here we go. This will uh, take a few seconds. Uh, instead of having to use a blowtorch to get this to light, it uh, kind of gives you a, a timer <laughs> that may end up burning through that. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it got the magnesium going. Oh yeah, it looks like it. All right, close up the grill. I at least hope that the magnesium got going. I don't know. The reacts kind of seem to die out a little bit. That did not seem like it was energetic enough. I'm not going to touch it for a little bit. But I may end up having to uh, just uh, using that uh, magnesium that I have over here and kind of making more of a fuse out of it and then using my blowtorch which I do happen to have not too far from me so first thing I'm going to, I'm going to kind of tap that that it's hot but uh, maybe I can pick it up by the Yeah, it didn't ignite the, um, I probably didn't use enough potassium permanganate. I really thought that was going to set off the, um, magnesium. Um, I'm going to work out something else here real quick, and, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I think, uh, where I messed up was that there was not enough oxygen to support the reaction between... The potassium permanganate and the glycerin um, because I came back out 
and every now and then it kind of puts out a little bit of smoke so uh, yeah it's a little bit unsettling but uh, yeah so I don't like move the camera around everywhere I'm gonna pause this all right so I am going to light the magnesium over here it should travel over here and hopefully get the magnesium that I have stuck in there started uh, I really hope you know what I'm gonna stick another piece of magnesium in there bend that in half it's gonna end up being like magnesium thermite well before it's actually a ah that formed like a crust there put that back out a little bit all right oh yeah my camera was completely off to the side there so anyhow i've got uh, an excessive amount of magnesium we're gonna get that going and hopefully uh, this thermite will take off <laughs> Of course. Well. Oh yeah, neighbors aren't going to like that. Yeah, that was definitely a lot more uh, thermite used this time than uh, the last. Yeah, it was probably a dumb idea. Famous quotes by Matt Wilson. Well, nobody's outside screaming at me yet, so I think I'm good. My neighbors kind of used to me. Um, I probably suck as a neighbor, but they're all pretty kind to me. Maybe they're scared. I don't. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to let that cool down for a bit, and then uh, we'll see what happened at uh, the bottom, because that thermite definitely took off. Uh, I should have had maybe my wife record me, but I know she didn't really want to be anywhere near this. So I'm gonna pause this for now until this cools off. Ha. I was able to get uh, these handles pulled off. They're, they're a bit warm. Oh yeah, they're actually a little bit hot. It won't burn the napkin though. Yeah, so that's all the magnesium. <laughs> yeah, magnesium just gets white oxide everywhere. That's right, I can pour water in that. Let it soak for a bit, pour it out, and then I've got magnesium hydroxide and make my own antacid tablets. I've got chalk too. I guess I could uh, grind that up, add in some cherry flavoring. I just realized I don't have anything I can uh, poke around at this with. I don't know. I should probably just still continue to cool down for a while. Uh, it might improve the su uh, success depending on how hot of the puddle I was able to form of uh, the thermite. It may just uh, have kept uh, the temperatures up hot enough, long enough for some basic uh, lattices to start forming on the, I'll just say the infant bull. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Anyhow, it's fun. I'm, <laughs> I just played with thermite for the first time last night, so getting to do a batch that was slightly twice the size of the largest batch that I did last night, I was a little bit more impressive. And I was surprised at how well controlled that was, but I was really careful in the design on how I laid out that sand. I, uh, it was basically, uh, I guess, kind of a spade shape, like an elongated spade, and so the sand was kind of piled up on uh, the top of the spade and then that way once it lit it would be able to kind of fill in or at least uh, melt and solidify and then kind of allow for more direct flow of the thermite um, I don't really know exactly how much of that you know 
will actually happen, but yeah, it's just, I guess that's my hypothesis. And, um, I'm pretty big into uh, structural engineering, stuff like that. I'm uh, studying like mechanical engineering, structural engineering. I was a prototype engineer for a while. Um, now I'm a signaling system engineer for T-Mobile. Uh, so yeah, anyhow, I'm not going to let you guys continue to be bored uh, watching me be bored, uh, waiting for this thermite to cool down. I'll uh, be back with some results.